everybody, John Layfield here. I have heard so much since President Biden spoke this week about debt and deficits and so-called fiscal conservatives who happen to be absent when you had Republican presidents in office. So I want to make a little observation. Now, I don't want to just gripe. I want to actually offer a solution, which is different from so many people on social media griping incessantly about what is wrong, but not saying what they would do if they were in power. So I'm going to offer a solution. But first, let's get to the problem. In 2000, George W. Bush inherited a surplus. He also had two wars, understandably, during his terms in Iraq, Afghanistan. You can argue the merit of those wars, but it did add to the debt and to the deficits. But in under President Bush, the debt effectively doubled. President Obama, the debt effectively doubled. You did have the financial crisis, which added to debts and deficits, understanding uh, that. But you start off with $5 trillion around 2000. We're at almost 30 trillion now. And President Trump comes in. There's no war, there's no pandemic, there's no financial crisis, and we're back to trillion dollar deficits. Some of the most profligate spending in our country's history. So the point is simple. There's no difference since the turn of the century, 21 years, in Republicans and Democrats in spending. They all spend more than they make. So here's a simple solution that we could have done in the late 90s under President Clinton, a balanced budget amendment that almost passed. If it would have passed, we'd have a national debt of $5 trillion instead of almost $30 trillion right now. And that is a balanced budget constitutional amendment. Now, you can't do it next year because if you take a trillion dollars of government spending out of the economy, the economy suffers, and whoever's elected gets unelected. They get fired. So you gotta make it 10 years out or 12 or 15 years out. And every year you have to reduce a certain percentage. That way it's not up to the current politicians and it's in the constitution. Now, how do you deal with financial crisis, which could come up, whether that is a crisis from a pandemic, a war, or a financial crisis itself like the bank meltdown in 2008 and 2009? You have Congress pass a resolution that allows you to deficit spend for that specific crisis. What you need to cut, that's a separate video. I'll get to that later. Have a great day.